got to work and my feet hurt. And I thought to myself, you know, here I am running this incredible factory. We're producing thousands and thousands of unique green printed things per day and my feet hurt. We have, a, we have a tendency to overlook these very, very simple and these very common everyday problems. And so I thought to myself, I'm going to change that. Um, I'm here to talk about the software behind the hardware. I'm here to talk about why, as a 40 person company, 15 people at our company are software engineers. Uh, they're working across back end and front end and mobile and advanced technology and computer vision and machine learning. And why is it as a product company, as a product company that's producing a physical good, is software such an important component? And more importantly than that, how can we use software? How can we use software to evolve our physical world in the same way that we evolve our digital world? Building something that I like to call product as a service. So what do I mean by this? Digital manufacturing and design that enable the rapid development of physical goods. We may be a product company, but our product is created with software. It is literally a Python script that generates software. None of that matters unless we're building systems that enable not just that one child, not just that one 10-year-old in Colorado to create a 3D printed prosthetic, but literally everybody in the world that needs that. Until everybody in the world can walk out the door every day and say, hey, I'm wearing custom footwear, and they're affordable, and they're perfect for me. So why is digital manufacturing making this possible and why was this not possible before? Suddenly, because of on-demand manufacturing, because of 3D printing, we have these six core components which have now entered the landscape. We have the ability to reduce upfront costs to a place where there's virtually almost no cost to start a hardware company. We have a world in which complexity is free and anything I think of, I can make. We have a world in which the unit of one is possible and the economies that come with scale have changed. We have a world in which we can live with no inventory, where speed to market uh, is possible at a much, much faster rate than ever before in the past, and where products that are digitally manufactured can be repeated again 